What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the newest Night Titan from Forge World. That's right, it's the Mechanicum Serastus Night Atropos. Now, I think there's two different ways to say it, so obviously potato, potato here. But basically what it means, I believe in Greek, is something to do with beam or ray. It's got a couple different meanings, so that obviously explains... Uh, basically, the Singularity Cannon does a beam effect that's uh, pretty interesting, in to say the very least. Also, something very interesting here is the way they're packaging their products now. It's very interesting. This thing comes in a box, just like it's a normal G-Dub kit. And then once you open it on the inside, you know, you're talking, you got a whole a bags of forge roll with some bubbles and things like that for making the trip across the, the ocean. You've also got this really exciting full color manual i mean you spend 250 dollars on something I, I feel like you should get a pretty good manual they're designing all this stuff in computers now so obviously it's pretty easy to render this down and actually do instructions and show show folks how to how to get it all done and things like that so before we take a closer look at everything i definitely want to let you guys know about some stuff we got going on here so in january 2016 we're trying to go ad free on youtube and you can probably see up in the left hand corner here there is a little symbol for patreon and that's where if you want to give us some support for some of the video features and things we do here, we do about 20 videos a month. Uh, now hop on over to Patreon. Actually, right now in December, hopefully it's still December, <laughs> we're actually giving out um, a free spiky bits kind of like um, gift bag for anybody that signs up. You also get one of the horse heresy squads, um, either like a tactical squad or cataphraki or the... Um, um, the whole contempt or dreadnought as well to anybody that signs up to become a new supporter over on Patreon. Um, and after the first month, we'll be, you know, mailing all that stuff out in about the middle of January, give or take there. So anybody that signs up this month will definitely get that. And what it does is, you know, your support actually helps us to upgrade our equipment. I actually uh, bought a bunch more equipment. It should be here uh, kind of soon. So we can try to do some some different things, some different camera reviews and things like that. So it isn't always boring on, the, you know, the product here. We can do some some other stuff. It gives, gives me a little more time to work on the videos, too. Now, we've been up in our, our video game here. And hopefully you guys have noticed, you know, obviously... Uh, I want to you know, I want to get the best product possible, you know, doing these reviews, doing these video tutorials, doing the rules reviews, the tactics, the rants, you know, all, all the stuff we do here. I want to start doing some flashbacks, more Armada um, and also X-Wing Battle Report. So we got a new style that, that we've already recorded for that, haven't had a chance to actually get in and uh, and render it yet, but it's really exciting. I, I hope you guys really enjoy it. So be looking for that here sometime in January. So obviously going ad-free will cost us a little bit of money over on YouTube, but hopefully we can make it up with everybody's support. We just uh, smashed another uh, goal over there, another kitty cat goal. Uh, so please click on the link, take a look at it. You know, take the dollar challenge. It's, it's, very, it's very simple. All you gotta do is you know just uh, click on the button and check check out all the info there so back to the actual product in hand the matter at hand so to speak this is a really cool uh, night titan obviously this guy isn't gonna be able to go toe to toe with a wraith knight kind of like the lancer can uh, lancer's definitely a solution to a lot of problems out there in 40k with his higher initiative and his great weapon skill his ability to just basically uh, smash into things and make them go away but this guy isn't too bad either now he's got the mechanicum he's a mechanicum serastus so he's got that uh, st uh, styrex or sticks kind of styling up here on the upper carapace but this is a serastus pattern so it's bigger it's going to stand taller but also what's cool about it is that it has the additional rules so it has the flare shielding you know um, now it has specific 40k rules so definitely jump over to forge roll check those out it's a free download right now but this thing's pretty cool too like we've never seen anything like this I mean obviously we've seen it with things like the, the warlord titan uh, instruction manual which we got right here very similar of course right but we hadn't seen it with a normal titan because I've done, you can check back on the you know on the, the video channel here we have done a ton of these video unboxings for all of the knights all the serastus patterns all the plastic ones uh, the two that have come out and this is the first time we've seen something like this so that's really cool to see that Forge was really taking the time and effort to go through it I also like that it doesn't come it doesn't feel like you're in grade school getting a Xerox copy of some rules you know and it's stapled together at the top and you're just kinda like okay cool I guess you know I can kinda make out what all this stuff is but when you're designing this stuff in 3D what's really cool about it is it's very easy to manipulate this and actually do your parts diagrams your exploded views you know all of your isometrics and, and things like that to, to show the folks 
basically how it goes together. So here's the parts breakdown. So you got all of your normal Serasis parts, which are right in here. You got that different kind of uh, the Mechanicum styling top here, the Mechanicum pads. And then you've got the new weapons right here, the Graviton Singularity Cannon, which is this big bad boy here. And then uh, the cutter, the last cutter, which is this guy right here. And then some of the focusing uh, beam parts here, which attach. And basically you can glue them on extended or retracted. And then all the rest of the parts here. Actually, I think this is... Um, a new piece here, a new chest plate it looks like with some different Mechanicum styling, but everything else appears to be roughly the same. These uh, shoulders actually, excuse me, these shin plates right here might actually be different. Looks like they have the Mechanicum cog kind of uh, linear layout there, but everything else besides all that stuff and the head looks to be very, very familiar if you've seen these unboxings in the past. Now. Another thing I like to point out is always check these symbols here. These symbols are very important because uh, sometimes you, you want to note things. You don't want to glue stuff down. They show you exactly where to glue the areas, parts for assembly. Do not glue reverse angles. So it definitely helps with the assembly when you see stuff like this uh, in and of itself, obviously. So here's the first page of instructions. Basic serastis construction. You've got the hip. You've got the joints. And it does um, appear that it goes together very similar. Then you've got the, the pistons here. And the pistons are really interesting because they actually pop in the tolerances are so good they pop in these parts right here and they snap in and what's cool about them is once you get your pose once you attach the ankle joint and then you can kind of angle it right um, to where it basically fits in there a good trick is to cut it where it hits this notch right here so once you attach it into the piston receiver right here you would cut that across just so you get you know the nice it's not gonna pop out and it's not gonna be too too big to go in there and snap off when you're trying to manipulate it and stick stick it up in there so keep that in mind too you can basically shove these things up into there uh, and to attach them permanently you don't have to glue them down you know it snaps in you might have to glue the spot up here but you kind of get the idea there then there's where to put the plates on if you're doing airbrushing and doing airbrush styling uh, for these these knights you might not want to glue down your armor plating so your armor plating here across the top right there the center the top shoulder pads and of course the top itself well it is removable so you don't have to worry too much about that so keep that in mind too then you got the cables right here now the cables be careful when you're installing all of the um, all of the the legs and you're doing your um, I guess you're posing that you're you don't get too too crazy and you try to do like a crazy running stance because these things will actually you you won't be able to uh, stretch them out and make them actually still be able to attach now and very that's very rare that that happens but if you uh, heat them up using a heat gun or if you use like some hot water you could probably do it. And, uh, you know, there's, so just keep that in mind so you don't uh, screw that up and not have those wires attached there. So the second page of instructions gives you an idea of basically how the assembly goes together for the arms, the interior cockpit area, and torso. Very simple stuff here. Um, actually attaching on the uh, armor plates for the shoulders here, the armor plate ring, and the exhaust, and then the rest of the plating there. The weapon assemblies looks to go together fairly decent and then just a couple extra parts for the last cutter itself right there and the quantum singularity cannon and then you just basically assemble it all together you pop the head right in there you don't have to glue the head down either it just pops in so you can twist it and uh, do a couple different things there a couple different poses you of course can either magnetize this at this joint right here or you can glue it down and give it a little bit more dynamic pose and then you've got the two different banners you can put one here and then you can use one as a kill banner so that's the instruction so let's take a closer look at the parts which you'll notice and uh, kudos to Forge for this better packaging because I would be very, uh, I, would, I definitely doubt it if anything came uh, destroyed here. So you got these guys, and there's going to be a lot of familiar parts like things like the ankle or the actual upper leg right there. And then you've got, of course, the new Serastis Mechanicum shoulders. And then you got parts like this, like this is the actual cockpit on the interior, more of the legs. They're basically symmetrical and the other shoulder and then here's parts of the actual cockpit itself now you have to another thing to look for on these is when you're putting this together this is the actual cockpit this basically locks in well once you take the sprues off that locks in but right here across the top you see those little fillets going across there that's to help fill it so you actually want to go in there 
and with your exacto knife and snap them off and make that all flush so it's easier for the pieces to fit in there in the flooring otherwise you're gonna have a hard time and it's gonna uh, not connect correctly because remember these things are designed on the computer so they have very very low tolerances there yeah and this chess piece is definitely new that thing is pretty dope I like it already it's got uh, kind of that Iron Man kind of feel with a little cog in the middle there and then here's the singularity cannon very cool stuff and then you attach the little in those slots right there you attach the little focusing uh, uh, reticules I guess so to speak and then here's the joint for the where you attach the legs here's the actual back of the Titan or the top of the Titan and there's the last cutter bit now that thing is obviously ginormous I mean you're talking probably seven inches or so give or take that's a that's a pretty big gun. I mean, that's on par with uh, how you can style the Lancer's um, gun itself there too. So there's those pieces, and there's a bunch more small pieces here. I'm not going to pull all these out and show you all the pistons and things, but obviously you can tell. You know, I feel like from from this view and these larger parts that you can tell that the styling is very good. Um, they did the ankle pistons separately in a little baggie so you wouldn't lose those which is kind of weird because there's that one so maybe they noticed that that one came apart and then baggied it up on the factory floor there which is kind of cool to see that they actually do QC um, because a lot of times you know you see this stuff come out and you're just like what the heck why would they even send that to somebody here's the focusing kind of um, little apertures there that go around the last cutter or the singularity cannon and then pieces like uh, you want to be very careful when you snip this one apart because you don't want to crack that rail right there because that's actually what the shoulder pads lock into right here um, you can see that slot right there right and then that actually locks in right here so you want to be very gentle with these now another thing you can do if you want to magnetize these is very hard to do because um, this there's no surface to actually attach magnets it's very very slim so uh, that is actually problematic a lot of times you want to leave these off and glue these on at the last minute uh, in and of itself if you're going to magnetize something I'd probably recommend magnetizing right here but you would have to find probably some quarter inch or I would say actually that's probably less than that probably one eighth inch magnets right there but that's a lot of weight to hold so make sure you get some some good ones there that could actually hold that kind of weight because those shoulder pads are pretty heavy Here's the um, shin plates right there. Those are pretty cool looking. Like I said, they're styled, you know, just like the Mechanicus stuff. And what else we got? Pieces for the last cutter right there. There's the, the uh, barrel and also the other spot. Mm. And just some toes and random, random other bits. Things we've seen already about three or four times. Oh, here's the head. That one's pretty cool. I kind of, I'm not sure what it reminds me of. I, I don't feel like it's Optimus Prime, but I feel like it's definitely a Transformer of some sort. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe Jazz? Maybe Gen 1 Jazz? I don't know. But it definitely reminds me of a Transformer. I can't, just can't, just can't place it there. So there's all the, mostly the, all of the new parts for uh, the Atropos. It looks like the groin, yeah, the groin plate isn't new at all. Oh well, but that's okay. It's still pretty cool. It's still a pretty cool kit. It's obviously the first, um, you know, Mechanicum uh, Serastus pattern, Mechanicum Titan uh, that's in Serastus armor. I feel like there's the Styrix and um, the Mangara that is in the normal plastics. There's just plastic upgrade kits there. But so this one's the first Serastus pattern, and so I guess that makes one, two, three, four six different knights available from forge roll that's um that's a lot of knights so if you if you love the knights uh it's going to be a little hard to keep up with these guys have been getting them all so i definitely would recommend this guy and probably the lancer as the two most effective in seventh edition 40k right now i feel like those are those are the biggest game changers um or the, the triparatite plastic uh knight and lance uh you can do some shenanigans with that one too so that's about it for this one we went a little over but hey i spent a little time talking about patreon there at the beginning as well so i hope you enjoyed my video unboxing of the new knight atropos from forge World.